Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hot to see and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, we're in this series. We are trying to farm all the formable plants, and we did almost everything. We only missed out on one, and we hit a bit of a snack. Because what we're missing is the water weed, and on this asteroid, we don't have any biomes where it grows, and water weed cannot be imported from an auto asteroid. So what I did is a bit of cheating and now we have one seed here. However, to make this last episode a bit more interesting, uh, I thought let's build proper form like we he have here for the bristle blossom or for the millwood. Uh, most other farms are kind of natural growing especially if the the requirements um, for it are a bit weird like here for the the north sprout we would uh, need uh, uh, ethanol uh, and of course for the uh, sleet wheat we need water but at the same time a cool temperature below zero so that's that's quite a challenge so um yeah and we also didn't have any slime so we have this kind of mushroom from here but let's have a look at uh, what we need to consider for the farm um should not be too difficult uh, we need uh, uh, water salt water or brine atmosphere we need bleach stone nowadays we can create bleach stone and we need salt water uh, and temperatures uh, in that range so let's see where we have appropriate temperatures up here it's a bit on the warm side um, there we do have the, the salt water we can pump that wherever we need it uh, here on this side we have the the chlorine um, and i think over on this side it's we are at around 30 degrees and that's just just fine so i'm thinking we dig some space out here we will dig quite a bit of space out because uh, i also want to uh to have the bleach stone uh, production here on this side um, not that we uh, carry bleach stone from this side to that side, let it drop and then we have chlorine in our base. Having a carbon dioxide and uh, uh, natural gas in here, that's bad enough. But I think we can have space here we can we can dig this out um, we will have time like this and that should solve any any issues we have everything in place i think we have a, a water lock here on this side we're pumping in fresh air here from the top we have three layers for farming 
all in brine or uh, salt water. Um, and now we can actually go about and plant our water wheat. And we will need to uh, produce splash stone. We do that with salt and gold and we get leaf stone and sand out of it and we also have a farming station down here so this room should actually be a farm yes it is and that should help with the grow of the of the water wheat or lettuce and uh, that should that should really help along uh, with with the system and it will be a while until we uh, get to the point where uh, we can actually have everything planted because the the uh, salad the lettuce has to grow we have to harvest and then we have a chance that we get another seed out of it and uh, we need quite a few seeds but on the plus side uh, this uh, water seed that's a very uh, good nutritional value and I think it will complement our our diet here uh, in our colony quite nicely so we will see uh, how we how we progress with that one and keep an eye on everything else that's going on our lettuce farm is looking good there are only four more that we need to plant and that then concludes this project there is just one thing that uh, I, I wanted to do because as we have all the, the plants uh, in our base, it would be nice if we also had all the foods that we can reasonably make and maybe excluding some that are not that uh, nutrition i would say so if we look here we can do fried mushroom we can do a grizzleberry um with some eggs here um we will also be able to do some pancakes and let's say we use all the delecta wool eggs that leaves the shuffle eggs and we should still have um, uh, enough uh, wools uh, to to supply our our need for meat so that means we can have raw eggs and we have sweet wheat so we can have souffle pancakes. Uh, we will skip pickled meal because meal lies it's not that fancy food and actually we are feeding meal lies to our hatches nowadays. And of course, <coughs> we have barbecue, uh, we have cooked seafood, um, because a while ago I set up uh, this Paco farm uh, up here, um, which comes in quite nice and handy. And of course, we could optimize this one uh, into a breeding part and then basically a harvesting part um, as well. Then frost bun 
we can do as well. And of course, omelets. Uh, let's also make omelets. Maybe not forever. Oh, well, yeah, maybe forever. Um, then we have to split the raw eggs between omelets and raw and uh, souffle. But we have the choice uh, to do either. And then we probably should also check the stove. Uh, we can make stuff berry, which basically uh, is bristle berries. Uh, we have mushroom and lettuce. We have meat and uh, cooked seafood. Um, we have bread and uh, pinch of pepper nut um, omelet fried mushroom and lettuce all there nosh beans and tonic root where do we get tonic root from does not exist so that's a food we cannot make here um spicy tofu uh with tofu and uh pepper nuts and uh frost burger with meat lettuce and a frost bun and here we have the tofu um aside um, let's not do the the other ones they are not that good of uh, of a food source uh, and if we look at the at the consumables um yeah let's deactivate these two for all of them um and then basically the lowest quality food they would consume are gristle berries and fried mushrooms um, and then we have all the higher food up here and we can make all of them of course some of the ingredients are really slow growing but they are growing nevertheless and um, with that i would say we are done with this colony here we uncovered most of it uh, we have our uh, petroleum generator down here we also have our natural gas source here as a byproduct of the of the oil mining um, and then up here uh, we have our solar farm array we have our bunker doors with uh, laser mining we have our rocket silo we have the not the, the gas grass farm where apparently all our gassy moose have perished probably not enough food um, but we have the farm running here um, we have the uh, setup for liquidization and in here probably it's just a bit on the on the spicy side for uh, hydrogen which is most likely due to the fact that uh, in here these ones are broken 
So let's stop that part and then we probably should fix this one. Not sure what happened there, but should be an easy fix. And yeah, we have a nice, nice colony here. Uh, it's stable. We have farms for everything, either natural or uh, proper. And yeah, I think we have one more um, asteroid uh, that we did not check out. And uh, I think we will have an interesting challenge for that one. I hope you enjoyed this series and this episode and uh, join me for the next one. Goodbye for now.